John Anik was on the Anik and Florian podcast, and he made a comment along the lines. This isn't a quote, but I'll get you damn close. That he doesn't know how much longer he's going to stay in MMA. And he talked about the toxicity, if I'm saying that word right, of the fans. So when John said that, he was having a conversation with his buddy, Kenny. He was making content. He was going back and forth. He was sharing something that he felt. But it ends there. This was made into, I mean, I think this became a lot bigger than John thought it was going to become. This, this got to me 10 different ways. I got tweeted this. I got Instagram this. I got texts. I got phone calls about this. I don't think that John thought he was saying anything that was going to catch on. And by the way, I hope now that he sees how big that got, I hope that John knows that's a compliment. No matter of how it got twisted and presented to him after he said it, I hope he knows the fact that people are talking about it and heard it and care one way or the other. I hope he sees that as a compliment. That is the consummate professional, John Anik. And there are a lot of people in this space that become cynical. And many of them have to, just to get by. Because there is something about them being on TV where they are on a different side as the fans. And they are on the better side. And they are in the hierarchy. And therefore, whatever you say to them or about them, doesn't affect them. They're immune to it. There's, there's a belief. And I just know that because I was a negative fan, right? When you're a fan, you buy a ticket, you could cheer or you can boo, but I would, I would, I would boo. That's where I had my fun. I wasn't actually putting the guy down. I was having fun. I was having energy. And I just share for you that I always thought, well, it could never hurt his feelings. Everything is going his way. Look at him. He's on that side of the apron where I wish I was. I'm booing him out of jealousy. He'll know this is out of jealousy. I just share for you, a lot of guys are forced to become calloused. And then you have guys who are great. John Anik is great. That voice and the professionalism that he brings, you will miss it when it's gone. And you will recognize it when he's not here. And I just share for you, one of the things that keeps him sharp is this. He's still one of you. He's still a fan. John Anik did a bet with somebody. I can't remember who it was. And I think it might have just been somebody off of Twitter. But it had to do with a Nate Diaz fight. Or at least a Diaz brother. Hey, it was a, a tattoo bet, though. He had to get 209. Whoever lost. Anik lost. He had to get 209. And people couldn't believe that he did it. And a lot of people missed why he took the bet in the first place. He's a fan. He is one of you. That's why he speaks so well to you. That's why he can relate to you. That's why when he made the statement, that he doesn't know much how longer he's going to be around. Everybody was so surprised. Now, nobody's going to come out to that ultimatum and be like, oh, John, please stay. We're so sorry. No, because the people that feel that way, that's not the people that go and speak up. That's just not what social media is. It's not a place of positivity. That's not what it is. And it can be really nice and positive people, but they... They will go there and not use positivity. So I'm just sharing with you. When John makes that statement, it affects him. It affects him when you tell him that you didn't like the way that he called a fight. And this specifically had to do with Drikas and Strickland. And Anik was perfect in that. There was a comment made by Dominic Cruz that had to do with damage. And Dominic simply played devil's advocate. And it's very important that you have a devil's advocate. And let me tell you why. What I thought that I was seeing is Drikas Duplessis running away with a fight. But let's say that I believe I'm seeing that. Okay, then I, I'm done 15 minutes in. I only got to watch 70% of the fight. If I think Drikas won one, two, and three, I'm done. I can get up and leave. But how disappointing. How disappointed that I would miss out on 10 more great minutes. So Dominic comes in and just lets you know, hey, before you, before you think you got this thing scored at home, the first criteria is damage. And you could very easily argue the most damage is being done by Strickland. It was a great comment in hindsight by Dominic. And so many things that Dominic, Dominic, Dominic Cruz 
is the smartest guy in MMA in terms of understanding what he's looking at, in terms of a strategist. There is not a close number two. It is Dominic Cruz, and then you have everybody else. But many times he will say something so sophisticated that it's too advanced you don't understand it. I remember when Dominic made that comment, I thought, what, what is he? What? That's a stupid thing to say, Dom. I literally thought that that's a stupid thing to say. And Anik corrected it to let him know, hey, 10-9 must system, there's a way that these are scored. Much like I saw that Anik has had to correct people that say, if you are the champion, and you're, the challenger to beat the champion has to really beat the champion. He's got to really go out there and beat him. That is not actually a criteria. And Anik has had to correct that. It's responsible. And it's his job as the lead announcer. So, in hindsight, what Dominic said was great. But right there in that moment, and I'm just sharing with you. These are from guys that care. And the reason that it can affect them is because they're still one of you. And the reason Annex the best, and the reason you don't want him to be, is because he speaks for you because he is one of you. And I don't want his words taken out of context. I want him to be credited for having that opinion. I don't want somebody to look at that and think he's creating drama. He wasn't at all. He was not at all. He's a guy that goes to his social media to see what you think and what you feel so that he can keep his thumb on the pulse. That's what a professional does.